Learn about road safety. Susie and Sam were ready to go out to the shops just as mom shut the front door. They saw their friend Dave walk by. Dave lived, lived down the street. He was older than Susie and Sam and he was allowed to go to the shops on his own. When will we be allowed to go by ourselves like Dave? Susie asked mom. When you are as old as Dave is now, then perhaps dad and I will let you go out by yourselves, said mom. But first you must learn to cross the road sensibly and safely. There are lots of things you have to watch out for, even at a crossing or where there is a crossing guard to help you cross the road. You have to be very careful. Let's practice our road safety today on the way to the shops. They walked along the pavement and round the corner. Now we have to cross the road to get to Mr. Akram's shop, said mom. Sam, can you tell me where we should cross? Why don't we cross here, said Sam. It isn't safe, said mom. There are cars parked beside the pavement and we can't see the road properly, said mom. You must not step out onto the road in between parked cars. You can't see cars coming along the road and the drivers of the cars can't see you in time to stop. You could be knocked down. We need a clear view of the road. Sam saw a clear space further along. We could cross there, he said. Much safer, said mom. They went to the roadside and waited. What do we do next, asked mom. Look both ways, said Susie and Sam together. Good, said mom. Look both ways and then look again. Check that the road is clear and that we have time to cross. Susie and Sam looked and then looked again. When they were sure that the road was clear, Mom said they could cross. Susie started to run. No, Susie, said Mom, taking her hand. Don't run across the road. If you fall, you might not be able to get back up again before a car comes along. Walk. They crossed the road and walked to Mr. Akram's shop. Mr. Akram sold lots of different things mostly groceries, but a few surprises as well. Good morning, everyone, said Mr. Akram. How are you all today? Fine, thanks, said Susie. They were good friends with Mr. Akram. We are learning how to cross the road safely. I'm glad to hear that, said Mr. Akram. These busy roads are dangerous. I have just the thing to help you. He went over to the corner of the shop and came back with a book on road safety for children. He showed it to mom. What a good idea, said mom. We can buy this to read at home. And could I have a carton of milk and a loaf of bread as well, please, Mr. Akram? Mr. Akram waved them off and they carried on along the pavement. Now, said mom, let's practice crossing the main road. I know where to cross, said Susie. There is a crossing light. When we get to the crossing, the red man or hand was showing. Susie and Sam knew that it was not safe to cross. They waited and watched the lights. The traffic lights turned red, telling the cars to stop. The red crossing light changed to green or white. Now it's safe to cross, said Susie. Not quite, said Mom. First, we must be sure that the traffic has stopped. Susie and Sam checked to make sure that all the traffic had stopped and walked smartly across the road with Mom. As they got to the other side, the green or white person walking light started to flash. What does that mean? asked Sam. That means the light will change soon and the traffic will be starting up again, said Mom. You must never start to cross the road when the green man is flashing. There is not enough time to cross safely. They finished the shopping and set off for home. On the way, Susie and Sam practiced all the things that they had been learning. When they got back home, they had a look at their new book. 
It was full of helpful pictures and said the same things that Mom had been saying. Find a safe place to cross. Don't cross between parked cars. Look both ways to check that the road is clear and then look again. Walk across the road. Do not run. When the green man shows, check that the traffic light has stopped before you cross. Never start to cross while the green man is flashing. There's a lot to remember, said Sam. Yes, said Mum, but you both did very well, and I'm sure that when you are as old as Dave, you will be able to go to Mr. Akram's shop by yourself. Safely, said Susie. Yes, said Mum.